How are you all doing today? We're gonna do this again. We're gonna sketch something new. Hopefully this is gonna be good, you know? Just trying to sketch something. Uh, I was inspired by the cyberpunk trailer and, and other infos that that came out. So we're going to do some cyberpunk stuff. I love the subject and I think it'll be fun. So we're going to start something from scratch. I don't know how long we're going to be doing this for, but hopefully like an hour, an hour, an hour and a half, maybe. And then we're going to do this. Have some fun. Listen to some music. Let me know how the how the music is going. What's going on, guys? Thanks for joining. I think the music last time was a little bit loud, so let me know if um, if it's good. I like to work with music, so let me know if it's good for you guys so you can still hear me. What up? Let's do it. And I'm just going to start from a sphere today. So we can kind of, so I can show like the entire process and at first I'm going to, I'm just going to do a, thank you guys. Thank you. At first I'm just going to do a, a base female here. So I don't have to think, think a lot. And then we're going to start designing on top. So we want to do some kind of female that are kind of exists in the universe. I, when I, so Brian, I usually work with music. Yeah. I like to work with music when I, uh, I like to listen to music when I know I'm not going to get interrupted. When I'm just like in the jam. If I'm just doing multiple stuff, then I, I don't I don't listen to music because it just frustrates me having to like stop and take it take it on and off, take the the uh, the the the, head, the, head, the earplugs on and off. I do have some cyberpunk music, so it's, that's usually what I'm listening to, anyways. Some kind of like like techno, some bass like hip hop stuff. Yeah, dude, we could do some prop stuff. I know you, some people told me that and then some people were like, no, it's fine. And then I, when I listened to it, it was like loud. So, yo, I wear a Bethesda shirt because that's the shirt that I use. Like I need to dress better for for these streams, so there's there's no confusion. But I, I just have a bunch of game shirts. That's what I like to use. I could start with just a um, base female, but I'm just gonna do this real quick so you guys could see maybe some of the process for for this. I'm gonna I'm gonna treat this today like just a, as mostly a sketch. Like, I don't want to, like, finalize it, but I want to play with some ideas. Like, I don't know how far we can really get into with, like, just a couple hours. So let me just clean this up because I started, like, a little a little crazy here. Yeah, man, I, I, uh, I love the art direction of that game. It's very bold, you know, like, very bold choices. So I like the, the subject. Subject is, is really nice. You can have a lot, of, a lot more kind of creative freedom with uh, with that subject, you know. Of just like kind of doing whatever, just doing, just having fun. Not a lot of projects, you know, will give you that. You can kind of like going, just go crazy. So you watch like I'm like very uh, not really attached to any of the forms. Like I started in a way, and I can like just kind of go back and do it a different way. I'm just gonna extract the neck here because I want to at least have some sort of like separate body body geo that I can use. And you can see like kind of the base. Um, if you guys haven't watched, like watch that uh, the 10 minute video to make a. A human torso, but I, I do this in like ten minutes, and I kind of talk through the process a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, but even here, I'm I'm doing it a different way than I did on the video. So there's no real like rule to make these things. It's just more we like the feeling, you know. 
Let me just detach the string for a second. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and then uh, let me just keep saving because even last stream, if you guys remembered, it crashed like a few times. Can handle the speed. Hey guys, I'm just gonna kind of talk over, it. and I'll kind of jump and jump and back and forth on the questions. But if I just answer all the questions, I won't be able to do any any work. So I try to do both. I know uh, I want to talk to you guys too. So if you guys like, if you have have uh, if you see questions that that you got you you know you can answer, maybe I've answered before. Feel free to uh, you know try to help out. I appreciate that. So people don't feel like they're uh, that I'm not looking at their at their questions, you know. So if if you guys seen the cyberpunk stuff, they they heavily not everything, but they heavily rely on like the jackets. So I want to do like some kind of a jacket for her. Um, we'll do that. So we'll do that as well. And I'll probably do like some kind of a hair and uh, and some maybe some like uh, some sci-fi kind of add-ons, as you call it, like maybe like an eyeball. Uh, that kind of stuff. How's it going, guys? Chilling. Good. Thanks, everybody, who's coming back from the last stream too. Like that was that was fun. And uh, so we're kind of doing the same thing here, at least at the beginning. But you would see that this will turn into something else real quick. You see kind of a going and uh, pushing some stuff on the to the side here i'm just gonna give it more of a body and i'm just gonna worry more about the you know, like the upper torso i think i want to at least give it some mass where it where we need to have the one thing i uh, especially when you're starting and you're trying to solve things this way it's good to just have a um, at least a uh, you know more than what you're gonna work with, just so you don't get lost on proportions and stuff. I feel that at least I have a good idea of what some of the forms where the forms need to go. But uh, if you're starting and you kind of like uh, haven't done this enough, try to um, yeah like start step by step, like block in the human body, try to get the anatomy right, and then you can kind of come in and start to. Um, break it up like remove stuff like here i'm just doing the almost like a bust but you can get lost on that if you don't have the rest of the body you know so you can kind of see here a little bit more you know even you know even if it's a female i'm still gonna mark just the chest and then get some of the, the chest in here so for the jacket I'm just gonna go like real quick. You guys feel free to uh, send questions about the process, the process, or if you guys have questions about something else. Yeah, I'm hyped about this game. It's gonna be fun. I'm jumping here on the face real quick. I just want to get some landmarks in. And then we're going to go back and refine this. And uh, we talked about this on the last one, but you, you notice that I'm not trying to make things perfect. I'm really just getting, uh, you know, stuff represented so I can start seeing, especially when you're designing something on the fly, you want to have some kind of a freedom, you know, to like play with shapes. So I'm not married to any of the stuff that I'm putting in here. So the resolution's a little bit too high. I can get, I can show you guys some of the reference board. Like right now, I'm not looking at anything, but I'll I'll show you guys when I I start. I just have a few things from uh, from the game. 
I'll show you guys for sure. Let me just get this thing uh, a little more represented. Right now, I'm just doing kind of a standard email. Nothing, nothing super uh, specific, but yeah, I do have some some uh, some references. I don't know if I'm gonna do like an ear. Let me see here some of the references I got. But again, we I think we've touched on this last time. But make sure you guys feel comfortable to like even sculpt in an ear. So like I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit how I how I go about it. But like the yeah, the anatomy, like as you can see here, it needs to be you need to practice that. Just so you, when you're doing stuff like that, this is not what's like stopping you from from moving forward. You know, like get yeah, like an ear shape. How's the music, guys? Is the music okay? It's too loud. It's good for me. So you see, like I just put in the basic shapes and, uh, and then like massage it into place and get something that looks natural, like, you know, kind of quick. But it's good to do like ex exercises like this, like in a, in a vacuum of like just, just a mirror. Try to get this from like a, a cube or a sphere. So then when you're doing like a more complex piece, you have that knowledge in your head, you know? Oh, music. Damn it, guys. Why are you doing this to me? I got some, some, some good music here. Is this better? Oh, wait. Now I have to put the music on. I'm like listening to this music here and you guys are not enjoying it with me. All right. Yeah, you are breathtaking. Let me know how this is. Is the music working? Maybe. Oh, well. Oh, I know why. Gosh. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to waste time on this. All right. We'll just keep jumping. Well, let me know if the music comes up or not. It's supposed to be working. For me to be doing this from like scratch, it's probably it's not the brightest ideas that I've I had. You know, 
be much easier if I had like a base mesh. But hey, at least you guys see the process of making a base mesh. At least I can enjoy the music. But yeah, guys, uh, right now it's still like base female, and you can see the shapes are not nearly as, as good here. But again, I'm just trying to get all the, the information in place. We can kind of uh, keep moving forward. Like I could spend a lot of time trying to make this island perfect, but I don't even have enough uh, quality to do that, you know? You guys yeah thanks everybody who's, who's joining in i really like uh the yeah, batman who laughs man i like that maybe you'll see something from me like that from from that in uh you know in the near future they do some batman who laughs stuff Cool. Now I'm gonna just adjust on you know some of the proportions. Now I have like kind of uh, stuff blocked out, and you can see it in here. It just looks weird. Uh, you know, I can kind of adjust some of the forms, proportions, get things in sh in in the place, and give her a kind of like thick lips. I'm gonna up the resolution just a little bit. You can see how low res it is. I'm just going to crank it up just a little bit and save it. And I can, now that I have a little more resolution, I can come in and start to uh, mark, the, mark the shapes and stuff. Now it's kind of come, started to come to life, you know? I think the, you know, one of the things you have to do, if you're, if you, if you're interested in working with this, and I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are, it's kind of ask yourself, like, how long does it take for you to do this stuff? And of course, like you don't have to be, you know, nearly as fast as as what I'm doing here, but you just gotta ask yourself that question and then, you know, plan ahead of, of, of exercises to get you faster. Then the faster you are at like identifying shapes and and being comfortable with um, with sculpting in general, and you know, without letting go of quality, because I think that's uh, important as well. But just like, you know, practice, practice, you know, we keep talking about that. Don't, don't let just, you know, full final projects dictate the, the stuff that you're producing. Like it's, I do recommend you guys just do like quick exercises, like just sculpt a, a female face for no reason. I even like interview a lot of people. And uh, when someone comes to an interview that with only like just a few projects that are finished, it's kind of a red flag to me because you need to have a lot of just exercises. Like, just take a couple of days and sculpt a you know face, sculpt a face every couple of days or something. It's really like just try to practice your skills. If you're not at the level, then again, ask yourself that same question. You know, to just. Uh, See what's missing. God damn it, just saving my auto save. What's going on, guys? A lot of people joining, so thanks to.
Uh, Lucas asking, hey man, what do you think of texturing a decimated model using S Painter with no auto UVs, with auto UVs for concepts instead of poly painting? Uh, I think, I mean, if you're do, doing it in a different software, yeah, you could do that for sure. Like, you know, whatever gets you to that result. I do like to do a uh, poly paint for my, for my models, but I sometimes I struggle with that. So yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. You just need, you just need somewhat of a clean topology to do that. Yeah. Gosh, why is this taking so long? There you go. I'm just going to delete all the auto save. All right, so getting to this base mesh, starting to look okay, starting to think, have things represented. These brows are way too strong for female. So we're gonna clean that up. I needed more reference on what we're doing, but we'll, we'll get there. It's really hot in here. Give me a second. Let me turn on this. Turn on the AC. All right, I'm back. Oof. Wait, I, I just left for a second. Yeah, I just got stuck on saving. We're back. It's gonna happen again. Look at this, looking nasty. Not looking very good. All right. So for female, like I was just throwing a bunch of the, the forms in here. For female, everything is, you know, a lot more soft. I'm just going to get the shapes to look a little more soft here. Give more volume to this lower lip. Get the nose and you see that that's why like you shouldn't give up when you're, uh, when you're starting something. Sometimes you just need like a, you know, to push it forward just a little bit more and things will start to look like they're supposed to. Sometimes you need to like take a break, take a step back, come back on, a, on another day because, you know, you might not be looking like, like what you wanted to. And the way I'm doing here, that's why I don't recommend you guys doing the same because I don't have any kind of a... Uh, uh, lines here that I can follow just to get the result easier or faster like if you watched like some of my tutorials in uh, face sculpting a face I have like uh, I usually work with like guidelines that I can put on top of the model get the proportions looking right like right here I'm just eye eyeballing a lot of stuff and I'm kind of like fixing as we go like I'm not like even here that you know the back of the skull like everything I'm just fixing as we go and the problem with this is that if something is bad and I start throwing more and more stuff into the mix, like if I start putting hair, hair on her or stuff like that, um, it's not going to, you know, it's going to become worse and worse. I can probably hide some of the mistakes, but it, that's the dangerous part. Yeah. I'll do some rendering for this one. Uh, the render is it's a little tricky because it takes a lot of time, but... Uh, if if we get this to a good place, I'll I'll do some some render in, in comp composition like, but inside of ZBrush, I'm not gonna do it like in in Max or anything. Let me just do it here. Something like that. Okay. You can see like the the shapes are looking in place now, but there's not a lot of um, details 
on them. So I can go in and start refining a little bit more. And then slowly, slowly building it up. You see, I'm not, I don't spend a lot of time in just one area. I'm just kind of bouncing around. Okay. Some good stuff here at the bottom, but the top is still not where I want it to be. So I'm going to give her some eyeballs. See if that helps. And, uh, we're going to keep moving because we don't have a lot of time. I want to start designing some stuff. Save. Okay, so I'm just gonna append a, a sphere. It's a different way than we did last time, where I just used a insert match brush to get a sphere in place. Here I'm just appending one, and now we're gonna go here and mirror. mirror. I'm just gonna keep start using colors because you know that's what we do. All right, I'm just gonna give some kind of a shape to the iris here. So that helps. That helps for sure. I can kind of go in and start refining this eye shape, and so for the eye. Like what I usually try to think is if the sphere is in here, you know, I'll try to massage the lower eye bag to like fit that, fit that sphere. And then same thing for the top. Just try to get like really like wrapped around in inside that eyeball to like this kind of outer uh, skin just like wraps around that. And you get that extra fold on the top, and I want to—I don't want to overdo it because of the because you know it's a female, and she's not supposed to be old or anything. And I see we start to get the shape in there. I do use colors for everything, yeah. Professional stuff, everything. Colors are, I think, to me, like they—they they help a lot with the shape. I'm gonna go here on the lips. Do the same thing that we did on the on the eyes. Just refine the shape a little bit more. I'll go back to the questions in a second, guys. I just want to try to get this in a good spot before before it's too late and we don't accomplish anything. <laughs> so I'll go back to the question. You guys can see, like now we're gonna go like part piece by piece or, or part by part and just kind of refine it and it's slowly gonna get into something that looks more presentable as a female so initially I was just I'm just I was just trying to get all the shapes in there and now you know we are starting to refine looking from like multiple angles and stuff not really looking too much at the top of the head here because it, it is bothering me so I'm just trying to resolve this bottom section and then uh, we can start jump into like the hair and uh, start getting her the more of the costume and all the good stuff even for females like the anatomy is still there you know like getting that muscle here for the brows for them for men they're a lot more pronounced for the female, they're still there. That you know, you have still have to like account for those things. And then uh, get like now the nose a little smaller. You can see, you know, hopefully now it starts to look, you know, a little more. What do we want? 
and you can honestly we can spend days on this try to get it perfect you know i'll start maybe filtering more reference like right now i'm just going like for the generic and a female start after this point here you can start throwing more references in if you want to do like a likeness or even if you're not doing a likeness having a reference will help push the art so you don't get don't end up with just a the default like the standard you know yeah the, the question about why do i use clay brush instead of uh, clay build-ups is just because it gives me a little bit more of a finished look the clay build-up i think is very useful for sketching and you you would see me using on the hair but uh i most most often when i use the clay tubes i ended up having to clean up stuff you know so for stuff for things like faces and uh things that i can go into like with a more polished level i prefer to use the clay the normal clay and then um when i need something that's a little more sketched out or i, I want to preserve or create some some randomness then i'll go with uh, the clay tubes You can see here, like, I guess with some brushes, I can add volume without destroying the surface. Like with clay tubes, I'll get a lot of artifacts. I right, guess I'm not going to spend too much time on this because uh, I'm just going to jump onto some of the other stuff and then we'll go back to this. We'll get back to this in a second. I'm just gonna throw some basic colors like on the eyes, kind of darkening the iris a little bit or the, the eyelids a little bit. We'll throw some like eyelashes in here. Later on. Giving a little bit of more of a that form for the eye bag. It wasn't there before. That lips, fleshy lips. And then slowly, slowly we'll get we we'll start getting into a little something that looks a little more natural, you know. Easy. Easy stuff. <laughs> it's getting harder. You can see like how we, even with the clay, like how we build more of these uh, natural forms. Like even here on the eye bag, it's all about subtlety, you know? Like I'm, I have it, I have this shape here and you guys could, you guys would see it, but like in my head, that's what I'm, I'm doing it, but I don't have to over overdo it. Same thing, I have the shape here, I have the shape here, shape here. So like, I'm like, mar this is what kind of what goes in, in my head when I'm doing it. Like that. But I don't have to like overdo it, you know? All in there. And that's what I'm going for, it's just kind of subtlety on the shape, on the forms. I gotta erase this one. So, some quick like, I have shortcuts here to like uh, Z add and, and RGB. If you guys see that changing, that's on my uh, four and five. So I can quickly switch it. Throw some like basic hues, like break it up. I'll probably do something uh, a little more custom with the eyes. That looks kind of more to the theme, you know, like uh, like give it, give it like a metal eye or something. That'll be fun. That was one of the ideas. It's looking good. Save it. All right. 
right, so let's give her like a little bit of a jacket, just real quick. For even for question for like props, right? Um, yeah, you have to learn everything, man. Like a prop, it's it's no different than a character. It's just simpler because there's not no anatomy, but a character has tons of props. So, and yeah, I'm I'm left-handed. Yeah. But yeah, so starting with props is a good thing. I would usually uh, that's why I recommend to like my students too. Like you would just you would start with the prop for um, to learn the process because then you kind of detach yourself for a lot of technical stuff on the sculpting side of it, like anatomy, you know, uh, proportions a little bit more because the humans are a little more complicated, and then you can just study that in a prop, study the the process, making maps, especially for low res. And then once you feel happy or feel confident, you can go back. So here I'm going to use the clay tubes. And you'll see why um, for the eyebrows, because in turn the, because they give me that hard edge, see? And that's kind of what you guys are talking about. And when I want that, I'll use it. But I don't use it for everything. I, I use it more of uh, more clays than, than clay tubes. But this will give me like some interesting base for the for the hair. Yeah, and just kind of keep it very loose. I just want something in here to give me some some kind of a kind of shape, you know. That's why I, I recommend, especially when you guys are designing it, just recommend just throwing everything in that you want to have, because otherwise you give you uh, some false impressions. Like maybe you think something is off, like something is missing, and then so just having things like that in there will help you out. Okay, very quickly, I'm just going to extrude some hair. I'm not going to fix this uh, the skull cap here. Because we're not going to see it. But I do want to at least massage it enough so it's not going to give me any, any weirdness going on. That's why I don't like going too high on the density because this is not even too dense. But if it was a little less dense, I could easily smooth this out. Since I can, I'm coming in with like a clay, very soft, and just kind of brush it in there just to clean up that surface. Okay, now it's looking better. The back of the head being a little bigger than the front, and we should be good to go. I'm always going back and forth and just fixing proportions and stuff. Because even even on this, you guys are probably looking at this and be like, "Oh man, this some some stuff look off," and uh, I would just realize it when when I go back. So jumping around, um, it will make you see things a little different than just start to like polish it up something or noodles noodling something forever. Cool, looking good, looking you know kind of unique, good. So I'm going to do a little bit of a jacket. Let me show you some of the references that I have uh, for this. And this is some of the stuff that I had from before. Oh, wait, this is not going to work. Uh, it's not going to work because of the, uh, I'm just sharing the ZBrush. But I'll show you some of the stuff I had before. So I'm, I'm just going to keep working on kind of the anatomy. And then uh, I'm going to extrude the jacket. And she, she is looking a little bit, you know, she's got some male uh, features just because when we first started, I was just throwing a bunch of stuff in there, but I'll, I'll keep tweaking as we go, you know, given the lips, I'm just going to make them a little smaller, a quick mask. Yeah, yeah, TEDx. Like even the yeah, stuff like the neck. It's some of the stuff that um, 
I'll go back and, and tweak stuff. I'm not uh, attached to anything at this point. You know, the head might be too too large. Eyes is probably they're, they're off too. They're too big. But again, you know, I'm just I'm not attached to anything. I'm just going and fixing as we go. So for the hair, I'm just going to mask it out. That's something out. And I'm going to do the kind of classic, classic um, to the side, just like what they have in the game. So masking it here, extruding something. Yeah, for the carpal tunnel, like I, I, I have that, and uh, yeah, I think tablet is better. I don't think the sync key helps with that. <laughs> so very quick shape. I'm just gonna play with the shape here. Dynamesh. Yeah, something like to the side. Something like that. We'll probably start designing a little bit more now that we we'll get the we have the shapes in head, uh, shapes in, in place. And I'll probably do something like from like this point of view here. Focus more about more on the face. Focus more on the face here and just get at least start working from that point of view for the design. Like we're not gonna have time to do everything perfect from all the angles. We want to at least, you know, get something. That looks good from here. Right. For the hair, I'll definitely use the clay tubes. And you can see that will give you some kind of a natural, more natural shape for some of these things. And this is kind of what they have in the game. I'm just going to turn on the back face just so I don't end up pushing stuff through the through the mesh. And I also like to use pinch for some of the, a little bit more of the sharpness back in some of the areas. But I can quickly just, you know, get this looking decent with these, these two brushes. like that um, real quick and we'll, we'll go back to that in a second and going back here and uh, so for this I will do something different and then for the for the one on the left here I want to keep it more uh, natural Human, I guess. So we'll do something like uh, some quick poly paint here. Again, I'll revisit this later, but I want to throw some uh, some some color in here so I can start seeing how this is how this would look like. I'm just gonna put some uh, some toy plastic material real quick. Kind of fill that in with that. I'm just going to make this nose a little bit bigger. Okay. 
full character usually take you know months to complete for games you you can work on it for months like four weeks for a high res is usually a good good uh chunk of time then like another uh you know two weeks for like low res and then texturing so you can do like a couple months on the character easily depending on the complexity the more i've worked on characters for like you know four to six months that's why it's stuff that i'm doing here guys it's just more this is for myself so just keep that in mind like this is not like usually if you go to a production when you're working in, in a video game uh this is this is not the process you would take you know of course like the principles here are the same like i'm sculpting i'm poly painting i'm designing but uh this is not the time like i'm not taking my time to do this right i'm just i'm just doing something for me just sketching out something i want to make make that very clear you know because i know there's some confusion for um in case you don't know exactly what the, how long it would take you look at this oh man you know these guys are doing characters in like a day for video games is no, no that's not the case this is for me a sketch all right And I'm not even thinking much about the process here. I'm just doing. I'm just doing it. Save this. I want to kind of play with some ideas for her uh, for the right side of the face, and I probably want to give her like cut out some of the, the hair here, as if she was like shaved. This is the fun part about the cyberpunk stuff because they they can play with stuff like this where where it's just kind of out there. So it's almost like I want to do something where she, maybe she shaved like part of her head and um, maybe this whole side of the face is like more you know made out of like some kind of a metal thing. So I'm just gonna play with colors for now. I want to try to get maybe a look that would be cool. You put some like metal pieces here. Something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, it takes takes time. Yeah, but something like this and then um, the same thing for the eye. We'll probably push it, push the eye as well. With how uh, maybe this whole eye is made out of metal. She doesn't have this one. Or maybe she does have it, but it's just not, not there. And then uh, something like that. That's that's good. They also have like a lot of the markings on the face. I want to just put something in here for reference. Something like that, and then I'll work around like its design, kind of based on that. Something along those lines. Maybe the ear is also more of a metal ear. This is, I think, why it's good to experiment with color. And you could do it at the same time, or you could just go and, and sculpt if you have a good idea of what what you want to make, you know? But if you don't, we can just kind of play, play with the colors. The music stopped too. Were you guys uh, hearing the music or no? I didn't even notice.
So maybe maybe something like that. So the one thing I don't want to have is just the eyeball here. So I'm just going to remove that. We're going to replace these parts with um, some metal parts. The whole thing in the game, at least from what I've seen, is that they have like all the customization for parts, for body parts. It has that kind of like ghost in the shell vibe. So I want to play with some ideas. All right. Maybe we can bring this down. I've, I've been also like experimenting with a bunch of like uh, brushes too for like sci-fi stuff. Like some of the, the work that I've done in this last uh, few months of the sci-fi stuff that I was doing, I was using some some brushes. That was, the, that was like pretty, pretty helpful. Do something like this. Something like that. I'm gonna mark this the uh, space here because I want the flash to be kind of around it. But I'm gonna design these uh, metal pieces in a second. And then we're gonna yeah we're gonna do the the jacket. Something a little more pushed in here. It's almost as if the skin is like, uh, you know, kind of hugging around that metal piece. And I'm not worrying too much about the back side there. And of course, we're going to cut the ear off. So, let's move here. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm 32. They're asking my age. I'm 32. All right. So I could I'm gonna insert like a cylinder in here. I could do that. I could also like mask it. I'm going to mask like a cylinder and I'm going to extract it. You can see it's in here, but it's not near, it, it's round. So I can kind of like flatten it and then like extrude it out. This will kind of save me time. Like from here, I'll just zero mesh it. And it got a, if I smooth it out, it'll give me kind of a, a cylinder in place. I think I find I found like little things like this to like speed it up my process when I'm sketching stuff rather than I could also just like maybe insert uh, with an insert brush and insert like a cylinder or I could do stuff like this. You, know? you just have to find what works for you. Do something like that. Back with like a little bit of like a visor thing. I probably ext extract this as well, just because I want to apply a different different uh, material to it. Something like that.
Let's go keep that eyebrow here. Maybe keep like some of that human stick to her. Alright. I'm gonna start playing with masks now. Um, and the masks are really good for sci-fi stuff or, or you know for a lot of different stuff like for sci-fi specifically because you can kind of get some some hard edge on stuff real quick moving this in like that so I almost kind of extruded that shape and uh usually when i'm sketching like this i'm mindful <clears throat> i'm mindful with the stuff that i'm doing but i know i would have to clean that up later so i'm kind of just uh getting the shapes in For this one, save it. Kind of extract something like this out of here. Um, something like this shape right here. I'm just gonna dyna mesh it. And uh, Z remesh. If I Z remesh this, I'm gonna start showing some a little bit more like uh, just hard surface techniques. If I zero mesh this, it's easy for me to clean up the shape. And from here, I can kind of uh, sculpt this a little bit better. Now, very quickly, I'm just gonna throw some uh, some just kind of basic, basic, uh, basic, basic shapes. I'm gonna use a slash brush. I usually have them uh, in here, but. The monitor is uh, resolution is not showing it right now. This is one of the brushes that I use to cut cut things like this. And do something like that, and then uh, do like an H H polish, like uh, a little bit of a, uh, a bevel here, a chamfer, like polish it up. I okay, also do this with masks, or there's plenty of different ways to do it. So I'm just gonna mask this piece out, and I'm gonna just kind of scale it up a little bit. So like from here, same thing. Oops, just gonna cut it. And I can kind of at least build like the basic shapes like this. And you see it's all it's not perfect because ideally after I, I'm done with the sketching, I will come in here and start cleaning up stuff. Maybe re-sculpt this. But because we're designing on the fly here, I don't want to get attached to like clean meshes or anything. This is literally just getting the getting something in there. going to put this in here also want to maybe color this real quick because I'm going to start duplicating it so Let's see what color does she has like a like a purple or something maybe blue Right now, I'm only sharing the ZBrush screen, guys. That's why I try to share my reference board here, but I I, I can't because I'm just sharing the ZBrush. But I don't have I don't have a lot of things. I have like a, about five images of just like what's from what's in the game from them. That's why this is looking very close to her uh, their uh, kind of base female character. That's what I'm looking at for this. So holding a uh, control and moving it to the side, it, it makes a duplicate of the mesh. So like if I have things unmasked like this thing, 
Open control and move it, it will make a duplicate. I'm just placing it in here. I'm going to slowly uh, replace some of these uh, objects or some of the, the sketch sketched up stuff. Clearly, we're not going to have time to do a bunch of stuff here because I don't want to stay here forever. But that's kind of the idea. Like from here, what I'll start to do is like extract this piece out and then start to refine it. Like I will do a mask, extract it out, and refine it the same way we did the other ones. Or I can keep just going in and kind of having some fun here and, and adding a little bit more shape, right? Because nothing really has a shape right now. I'll do something like this with a standard, fill it up with like a clay clay brush, and then like with the age polish, kind of, a, you know, get some of that shape in here. And slowly build it up that way. I don't think we have enough resolution to do this kind of stuff. But I'll probably just subdivide it. Let me just subdivide it once more. So one, two, three, Yeah, thanks for answering some of the questions. I'm, I'm just jamming it right now. The secret here is the same thing that we did for the for the face. We start with just the basic forms, like throwing in, in there just kind of the everything. And now going back and you know, slowly refining it. The more we, the more time we spend here, the better we can get. You know, the the better it's gonna start looking. Like you don't want to spend, of course, a lot of time because it, it might start looking worse. But you get the idea. Now we just have to go in and start you know, refining all this stuff. I'm keeping it very loose. Um, what I'll probably what, what I'll like to do here is do like a masking. I'm gonna turn on the lazy mouse. I can come in here and like do a clean panel like that. Same thing like maybe goes goes down here. I can then slowly build up like more uh, better surfaces like this one. I can kind of extract like a panel. We'll throw something in here for from from some other other place. Yeah, the mask did they probably went through the model. Yeah, see here. I'm not worried too much about that. I'm just trying to get all the, the sketch, the just sketching things in place. Again, this will, I'll use this for, uh, I'll use this for just the base to like build this final, final mesh. You know, like this is definitely like, if you're doing a model for like a, a game or a, a cinematic, whatever the case, a movie, like this is, this is just sketched out 
garbage, you know. Like I would just have to re uh, reconstruct that, make it something that looks like real nice. But I'm just trying to design something. Do something for here. This is probably just the beginnings of what this could be. I don't I don't not think I could do this in a couple hours. This is too complex, you know. And it's been it's been an hour. We started this from, from scratch. I mean feeling pretty good. We'll spend a little a little more time here just trying to get some stuff in place. Try to get the jacket. Try to get the jacket in place as well. There you go. For no reason. For no reason. ZBrush crash. I wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> so we're going to go to some questions here real quick. Uh, yeah, Renan asking if beginning in 3D, what do you think make a complex character? Uh, with UVs, render, we topo for about four months to put in a portfolio, and between that, make anatomy study. So, what do you recommend? No, I think that's definitely uh, something that you could do. I think four months is not a lot of time if you're starting, like, even for um for uh, any projects, I mean, honestly, like even after you're a senior, I think four months is not, not a lot of time. So just give it a second, like ZBrush will come back. Good old ZBrush. <laughs> Your background music still going, no? I mean, it's going. It's going for me. Yeah, maybe it's not. Let me know if it, it's back, guys. It's back for me, so. Should be back. Okay. We're back. Oh, Z Rush. Yeah, I mean, doing a clay stream, oh, that'll be fun, man. 
I'll, I'll like that. She like them. Let's give her a let's give her a blue eye on this side. Uh, get uh, Glauco do like a clay clay stream. All right, let's see. By the way, guys, like this weekend, I'll do a, a stream in Portuguese with a friend. Se tiver brasileiro assistindo, domingo, fazer um domingo. Yeah, the streams get they get uploaded when it's when it's done, so you can watch this uh, afterwards. Should be should be here. If everything goes right, I, dude, I don't trust these uh, streaming stuff. Yeah, there's always something. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. It's likely. Igor. Igor is the guest. We're gonna do a scoped off challenge. Okay, guys. Like obviously, like from here, there are tons of stuff that we could that we could keep pushing. Uh, but if you know. I'm just gonna throw some basic shapes because it's gonna take forever. And I wanna do the jacket real quick. Oops. You hold uh, control alt and click, it sharpens the mask if you guys if you guys didn't know. So you can get really nice hard edges like that. If you do it. I'm gonna duplicate this, this, these guys, bring them down here. I'm telling you, if you ZBrush crashes again, I'm gonna get pissed. So, like online, you guys can find like a bunch of um, sci fi kind of brushes, like insert brushes and stuff. I will definitely speed up processes like this. And I've been using it a lot for um, small like bolts and panels, stuff like that, that saves, you know, saves quite, quite a lot of time and helps kind of push the quality. And I looked them up, there's quite a few out there. I'll start using them towards the end here. The problem with those is that you don't want to only use them because otherwise your stuff kind of looks kit bashed. You know, those models like start looking kit bashed, it's not a good thing. So you do want to make some custom, some custom stuff for your, uh, for your scope. How do you guys approach the mouth for production? Do the mouth already open and then do a blend shape to close it? Yeah, I mean, not a blank shape. You just model them open in ZBrush, and then you close it before you're done. You need to be in there. I do have one, uh, one course on, on Udemy. 
look it up. It's in Portuguese. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just fucking remove some. We just stop putting all this Brazil crap in the in the chat. I love Brazil. Love you guys. Stop spamming this stuff. Can't even uh, read the question. Do some kind of like a grid in here. So I'll show you guys a little trick because so uh, I have some of the some hard surface brushes and stuff. Let me save this. So if you go here on my brushes and alphas. I have quite a few things that I collected over the years. There's a couple like sci-fi, like sci insert meshes and, and sci-fi sci brushes. These are what comes with ZBrush, but like this like hard surface pack. So things like uh, if I just pick this, like a uh, light or something. Like if I just pick this and I put it on the standard. I could like just drop this in here. No. And move it to like dragon ring. And it started to get like interesting shapes with this stuff, you know? You just gotta be careful with that. But you could get some some cool like results, especially if you're just sketching something. Like you could get some uh interesting shapes uh, like same thing for some details that's kind of like the last kind of a uh, stage stages where you just want to add some like some information that shouldn't be like, or at least I don't treat it as a, as my main design. From here, like let's say I'm just sketching it out, like I could get some cool uh, shapes out, off of, out of this. Increase the stroke here. Yeah, I mean, then, then you start to get some like cool, cool shapes. Let's see, if I get something else. This is more for just refining stuff. Like some of these handles are pretty cool. I forgot exactly who who made these. I'll, I'll leave the, leave it in the description when I'm done. Chica, I put on a high poly on ZBrush for game characters. How much you put on just on texture? Uh, that's a. I mean, you have to just do it with the experience, like. It's not a like a one one and done question, you know. It's like case by case. You just have to uh, kind of be smart how how we're doing it. But I'll say maybe it's like eighty twenty. Like it depends on the case. You just like put things on the texture if you want to, you know, for a reason. All right, it's hard to answer that one. The slash brush difference from like damn standard. The slash is a lot sharper. 
give you almost like a little chamfer. Look at that little bevel. See how sharp that is? Gives you that kind of more hard surface. The damn standard will give you that flat or the soft fall off. Something like that. I want to give this ear like the same color. Pop. Take like. Think about functionality of those pieces when it comes to just aesthetics. I mean, a little bit of both, but in this case, it's mostly aesthetics. You know. We're just, I'm just kind of going like it's more on the fly here, coming up with some designs. Probably not going to turn on, on anything like super specific. And that's the other part of it, too. You know, not everything needs to be, needs to be perfect. I'll do like sketches like this, like almost daily, and uh, you guys don't see, you know, you probably see like a very low percentage of what all the things that I'm, I'm just trying, trying on my own time. Yeah, for the mouth one, it will close on the high, high poly, and then for the bakes, you just have to. Uh, do the bake separate. I'll solve it a little bit more on the baking, baking side of it. All right, so I get this a little bit more. I didn't. I don't really like this eye thing. So probably do something else for this eye piece right here. I'm gonna delete hidden. Probably do something that uh, mimics that shape on the side. Maybe something like this. We throw the same color. Here. And same thing for the ear, like, I, I mean, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. So I'll um, do something similar, I'll just remove this, maybe. No attachment. <laughs> I do have kids. I, I have two kids. I don't have a younger sister. Right? If that's uh, maybe you have a younger sister. <laughs> it's the time they're probably playing and, and hitting themselves. Gonna yeah, mask this. Uh, just extract this something from here, real quick. The time that we have, I shouldn't really uh, redo this year, but whatever.
I just do something like this. And I, I know I saw someone asking the question for like the, the clean edges. Like from here, you would see if I do a Z remesher, it would kind of uh, give me a better topology so I can smooth it out and see how clean that looks, you know, right out of the, the bat. So I'll just do something like that for now. Maybe run some cables down, down the ear or something. All right. Let's see how much time we have here. It's been like an hour 26. I'll sketch out the just real quick, just the jacket so you guys can see that. Look pretty cool. Just need time. More time. An hour is not enough time at all. It's like one of those uh, speed challenges or, or stuff like that. Actually, for sci fi, I mean. So let's get the jacket in here. I'm just going to duplicate the chest and uh, have that kind of thicker jacket here. I'm just going to very quickly get that shape. And I'm using the Dynamesh again. I do want that, that jacket they got in the game. It's pretty dope. mark this uh, shirt with something. Should have done this uh, in the beginning, right? But anyways, <laughs> now here we are. You can see it maybe what we're going for. Twick there's a uh, some spec here.
Uh, if you guys are thinking this is normal, the brush is probably going to crash in a few minutes. Too good to be true, right? We're uh, playing with playing with a lot here. See, like, the rips look funny. It looks like a robot more than a human. I mean, I don't know about the robot, but for sure it's not perfect. I think once we go back in, in that details, this will look better. So I'm just going to cut this, at least cut it right here, because I don't want to deal with uh, the rest of the, the torso. Something like that. Yeah, perspective was off until now, you guys can see. Probably I want to lower it a little bit. Where's my music? That's look like her, yeah. Wonder Woman. Kind of agree with that. Not intentionally. She does look very generic. I mean, that's why she's Wonder Woman. Yeah, you should always kind of switch on and off the perspective. But it was it was a mistake here. I, I didn't. It wasn't intention. Add it off. I feel that, you know, you want to keep it on when you can. I'm not, I'm not really feeling this a lot, you know, I probably won't continue and do something else next time. I think for this to work for me, Probably have to push it more. Like maybe add some kind of uh, some kind of twist to this this whole thing. Maybe um, push into like a different direction. Even the jacket, like, I can give it the lights and stuff. I'm just going to throw this real quick. Maybe I'll give them, like, the blue lights. Something like, like that for the, I mean, this is very, you know, placeholder -y, but just so you can see the design. I feel that, like, you need something that 
that pushes the design more. Still kind of looking more like the human. Kind of generic human, you know? So probably what would be cool is just adding like a twist of some kind. Maybe it's just more something with this eye. Where we make it more symmetrical. Yeah, maybe that could work. Let's see here. Really quickly, if we... Um... If we mirror this... I just want this part. I like this, but I'm just going to try it. I do, I do a hard surface in ZBrush, yeah, but uh, most of when I, when I'm doing for production, I'll clean it up in, uh, in 3ds Max afterwards. Like I will take this sketch here and I'll start to like reconstruct a bunch of stuff. Still some quick details here just to see like if I can start seeing something else. And that's what I kind of talked about early on was like, you know, maybe your eyes are getting attached to like uh, that something is off, but maybe it's just a matter of like refining a little bit more so you can get away from what's bothering you that maybe things are not looking the way they're supposed to be. Even your comment of, yeah, probably getting something on the lips. That's is better. I like that. I'm just going to merge this down. I'll do, I'll do what you're suggesting me. I kind of like it in like that. I'll pu push it out just a little bit.
All right. For the jacket, it should be uh, a little more straightforward. We just kind of doing the same thing that we just did. I'm just going to try to do a little bit more work on this before we call it. Mm. That's usually how these things go too, guys. Yeah? Like you notice that as you're working, and you guys are probably very aware of this for those those of you who uh, who work with 3D, that not everything you know goes right in this you know first time. I mean the same thing for me. Like I'll you know I can keep I can keep um, defining this. If I want to like just keep going, and most most of the times I do right. I just, you just have to push it forward just to get away from that uh, the comfort zone and or you know maybe you're not liking it but if you tweak a few things you're gonna start liking it again so you just have to push it forward sometimes you're just doing it for the fun of it like what we're doing right now just playing with ideas treat it as the same as like sketching something out like you don't see a lot of uh, people doing in 2d and being so attached to what they're what they're drawing, right? It's just more of a practice. I try to think of it the same way. I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't do everything that I do for a portfolio piece. You just have to have fun. You just have to play, play with ideas. If I were to do this again from scratch, I would approach it differently, you know? It's about getting ready as well. You know, if I was doing this professionally, um, you can, um, you can, you know, do a, your first try professionally, and you're probably not going to end up looking the way the client wants or you want it. But if you've done it enough, like you'll be ready and your stuff, your quality is going to be higher. Yeah. From here is just a matter of um, refining this thing. He's in the industry. Like I, I am. Uh, so I'm from Brazil. I started working in, in advertising pretty young. So I learned a lot just by being at the job and doing like TV ads and printed ads. Like I had a lot of good friends and, and teachers that that helped me in the beginning. So I've been in the industry for uh, 14 years, 15 years maybe, something around that. I've been, I, I, I learned like at the job, I didn't go to any like specific school or didn't do any like long-term uh, 3D course. Like I've done some smaller stuff, like maybe like a couple month workshop or I did like a two month animation class back in the day. I did like a uh, one month, like effects course back in the day, but this is like 10 years ago, you know, so. And after that, just, just mainly self-thought, learning in the, at the job in the industry. I was lucky enough to get in the industry very young. And then I moved to the game industry uh, maybe like four or four years after that. And I've been working in games since. I mean, if you have any specifics about that, I can go into specifics, but that's the overall like that's kind of how how long i've been around doing stuff i do sculpt every day yeah for sure even so i don't do a lot of sculpting at my my day day-to-day -day job not anymore at least i've been doing a lot more of the just feedback and um, you know, sometimes I still sculpt on the feedback, but it's mostly like written Photoshop notes, uh, meetings, a lot of meetings. 
I don't do a lot of scope on the day to day, but I still do after work if I have to. But I try to do it every day. I, I won't get into like uh, composition tips here, but we'll do something in the future when we talk more about that. It's a little more of a complex subject. I mean, I don't have a tip to give you, but we can definitely go into in the future. I didn't do uh, miniatures, no. I work on some Warhammer projects, but I didn't do miniatures when I was starting. Those are, they're, they're fun. I have a couple here, but I wasn't like a big collector or anything like that. Paint, painter, I guess. So from here, I'm just sketching out the shapes. I'm doing everything in one mesh for now, just to you know save time. But ideally, afterwards, I would come in and start to just uh, extract these things, you know, clean up. And I'm just doing from this for this angle, as you can see. So just keep that in mind. I don't have plans to do like a, a character course for games, no. It's not yet, but you know, maybe in the future we'll do something. Something like that. That's kind of fun. ZBrush didn't even crash. I'm how proud. Of, I'm very proud of him. Very proud. For the tubes, someone asked about the tubes and uh, I'm sure how to make those tube lines, like on the Wolverine clothing. I'll make some here. Like if you uh, extract a uh, mask, I'm gonna do a mask with like a stroke, raise mouse. Ah. <laughs> Mm, holy shit, dude. I can't even say good things about him. Perfect timing. Motherfucker ZBrush. <laughs> Alright, we're back. We're back. Back in the game. Let me know if you guys are seeing this. Because it's working.
Lizzy Brush, uh, Lizzy back. You guys can see the screen. God damn it. I didn't even do anything. I was just gonna mask the, the fucking mesh. Gosh. Yeah, as I was saying. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna mask this. The lazy mode. See, I'm doing the same thing I did before Emmy crash. That's the thing is just so unreliable. Anyways. I'm just gonna extrude it. Same thing, like just come here and uh, extract, sorry. And it gives me that. I can smooth it. And I'll just do a little inflate. And uh, with the inflate, it'll give me kind of that line. So I can do it that way. You know, of course, a little, with a little more care if we're doing something like for a sideshow, for a statue. That's the mainly kind of the process. So this way I have something that it's clean. It's in the mesh, kind of very tight to the mesh. And I can uh, I'll just have it as a, as a piece. It's kind of messy here, but whatever. I'm kind of running out of time. What I would like to do for this is uh, maybe do some quick render. Oh, looking time. Oh, man. I don't know if we're going to have time. I think ideally, like, it'd be fun to just put some, some, uh, some like different colors and some different colors and maybe some like patterns because they're very like bold on the co on colors, you know. And I think it's kind of missing here. And of course, like in ZBrush, you don't really see the emissives. So if I were to do a render, I might just do it real quick so I can have that image. So let's see if we can do this. It's actually nice from here because we see a little bit more of the head. So I'm just going to change the shadow here. I'm going to put the blur to zero, up the angle, and up the rays. And you guys are going to see like it's going to make it a little more of a soft shadow. So it softens the shadow a little bit more. I think I want to share like it this way, but I want to have like something on the eyes so she can look to us. So maybe bear with me a little bit. Maybe I'll turn this into a kind of a sphere. I mean, uh, let's see if it's going to work. If it doesn't work, then we'll, we'll go back to what we had. Maybe do something like this. Pretend that she would have kind of an eyeball inside this metal metal plate I think what she needs also uh, some kind of a frame or at least it's some extra piece just to frame it in there and we talked a little bit about this on the, the last of us piece that, that we did on the stream but right now I'm just looking at 
what's the most important, where do I want the eye to, to go? And uh, if the eyes are the things that, that are important, we'll try to add a little bit more detail like around the eyes. So it feels like the piece overall, like you have, it's like detail. We don't have to do this everywhere. And this is more talking more about like a, I mean, it goes to like composition and everything, like how you detail your character, but mostly for like a concept art. You're doing like just an image or a still, not even the concept art, but just like a still. We just got to be mindful of that. That's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking here. We want the eyes to go there. Look at look at here, right? So I'm just going to add a little bit more detail on this area. I'm even doing like without symmetry, whatever. We'll do something like this. The eyebrows, like you guys suggested there. All right, cool. You know, probably I'll grab uh, one of those decals for this section here. Let's go here on some of this hard surface pack and grab something that's like round. Remove the focal shift so it doesn't it doesn't uh, get soft on the edges. And just real quick, I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. We just need something for for the detail so it's not flat. I mean, ideally, I would like to sculpt something there. We even talked about like the cables and throwing some stuff in there. We'll, we'll do some. We just need something. Maybe just give her like a little bit of a scar or something. And for, for even for a miniature or like a concept art piece, like this is enough to. Um, I'll probably just go in and start like throwing some details and stuff. But this is enough to sell an idea, you know. Like I, I usually wouldn't take more than more than this. We spend like a couple hours just catching an idea, and then from here, you know, we can go in and. Uh, you know, try a couple more. So I'll do like a few of these. Uh, and of course I wouldn't, you know, start all of them from scratch. I would use base meshes for, for the other ones or, or uh, just do variations on this, you know, like even here we did like a couple of different variations and you can kind of pitch an idea this way. So what I'm gonna do here is real quick. I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna duplicate this document, double it up, just so I get more resolution. I wanna throw at least just some of the emissive stuff in here, so we can kind of see it how it would look, at least with the emissives on. Cause I wanna have that image after we're done with this, and I wanna at least show you guys on the stream. So you don't think I did a bunch of stuff afterwards. So I'm just going to cut this. Maybe add like a couple places for the lights. Do the same thing down here. 
And again, this is very messy. You guys saw me like doing some of the stuff with the mask, then like push it in. I'll probably do the same for this, but uh, I'm just trying to get something here real quick. And it's, it's totally fine for a sketch, honestly. Like I don't even need to do the, the back side here. It's all about pitching ideas. even playing with ideas like there's probably a better way to say it three D is like you know it takes a long time like you guys know so the more you can just prototype stuff like this the better you know all right we'll do something like that I'm gonna store a camera I'm gonna throw some real uh, Polish the hair just a little bit because we didn't spend nearly enough time on the hair. And yeah, I use the clay uh, clay cubes for this because it gives me a nice kind of uh, overlap on the flow. And then we'll just with the move, I'll push it some of the areas out. Do something like that. Maybe that's cool. Even like for an idea for like a miniature bus or something, this is this, you know, this could be cool. Kind of like where it's going out. I almost gave up at one point there. I wouldn't put this in the game. Though. <laughs> it's fine for what it is. All right, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to do a quick render. So let's see. And this is going to look flat because we don't have textures on this. Like we didn't do any uh, alphas and uh, anything custom. Like even for the leather, like the, you know, ideally we could do some sim kind of similar to what we did for the, for the, uh, the last of one, the last of us one that we did. Come in here, mask, right cavity, just kind of like start to Poly paint some of these things, pop the detail, look at, you know, it starts to look a little more refined. I'll probably throw some, some alphas in here really quick, like something that has a lot of contrast. Um, you can quickly, even with a little bit of Z add, but mostly color, you can quickly uh, create some interesting shapes. Or interesting textures. This is very low res, but again, we're just prototyping stuff here. Something like that. I'll throw some quick here for the shirt, and I'm just gonna turn the the uh, the Z add. Just do it with RGB. For the skin, we'll probably need like a, some pores. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna keep it as is for now. And then of course, like we'll you know we'll start going in here and, and just refining what we have. This is not nearly as refined as something final would would look, of course. And even for a, a sketch, like depending on the style, like definitely um, the cyberpunk game has a you know a more realistic style. Like it's a little bit stylized, but it's mostly you know based on realism. So we'll probably come back and just add more. And more surface treatment on, on these things, details. Uh, for real quick, I'm just gonna mask my cavity so I can throw some basic colors in this. So I'm just gonna paint some of these areas. So let some of the detail pop and we can come in and throw some of these in here.
at least get some color in there, you know? You can kind of do the same way around, just getting some highlights to like break it up even more. And then on the hair, I'll do the same thing, but I'll, I'm gonna inflate it a little bit in to get some of the, the detail to pop. I'm just gonna smooth it out. Let's get some sharpness on the hair. Add a little bit of this eye, just so we can get some interesting stuff. All right, so I'm gonna hit uh, render. This is double it up, so the the anti-aliasing is not gonna be as bad. Something like this. Put these panels out. Just uh, store the camera as well and render this. And uh, now I can go back to the camera if I want to change stuff. Like, uh, I do that with the Zap link, I have it a shortcut. Here, a document, a uh, Zap link. You can store a camera if you guys haven't used that before. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna save it pretty quick. And then when I hit render, if I change my shadows back again, but when I hit render, it's gonna save all the different passes in here. The render passes, so you guys you can see that. So when I click on it, I can save the just kind of export the different passes. I'm just gonna put this on the side real quick. So I'm gonna do one for that for this. I'm going to then move the lights and do something like from the bottom, maybe. It'd be cool, especially if you got that light coming from the from the jacket. I could use that as a as a layer to give it give it some bounce, you know. Uh, so this, and I'll probably just do like a rim light, real quick. Do this rim light, and then I'll do like a probably like a metal like a metal shader, just cause some of these pieces here, like they, they currently don't have the spec that that we need for that. So I'm going to select like a, you know, like a reflected map like this. Just to get some spec, the piece. And uh, this should give us some some cool stuff and then maybe the metal i'll use like a the, like a metallic one like a te textured metal just for you know for some extra extra material i don't know if we're going to use this or not but just to have it you know, we're going to do something real quick in photoshop so you guys can see how how we can present this so I'm going to open Photoshop and I'm going to open these materials in Photoshop. I'm just, I just have to change the, um, how I'm displaying this stuff because you're not going to be able to see it right now. So give me a second. Let me just do this. I'm going to open the images real quick. And I'm gonna screen share the Photoshop one. Okay. 
Let me know if you guys can see it. I'm just copying and pasting now like the the layers that we just exported. Let me know when you guys can see that. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we got all the layers in here. And you guys could see if I turn them turn them on and off. Hopefully Photoshop's not gonna freak out. So seems like it's a little slow, so You can get in there. Almost done. What I'm gonna do here is start to, uh, you know, combine these things. And now I can get, kind of do whatever I want because I have these layers. So I can use that backlight as a screen. Why are you freaking out? Oh, wait. Weird. I can't really use the space bar because uh, it's like freaking out. Anyways, I'll keep this short. Uh, then I can use this kind of metallic one to like paint, paint in some some of that if I want to. I could use this. Honestly, you could do it like in many different ways. Once you have these masks, then you can kind of just do whatever. This reflected one, I could use it as a screen mode. Or, or a color dodge or something and just kind of get a little bit of that spec into the into the the mix for this one this one I'll use it um, I'll tint it red or maybe blue just do red for now Gonna get a little bit of that bounce. Do something like this. Remove some of that spec from the from the other channel. And uh, and Photoshop is struggling. I don't know why. little softer there's something with the with Photoshop that I haven't really used it before but I'll look into it after this I want to do this at least what I want to see it is just a little bit of that glow Something like this. Doing the music stop. And fuck this. Yeah, you can snake all over, Kyle. Está aprendendo com o original. Yeah, so we'll do something like that. Oh, now my space bar is working. Beautiful. Uh, 
Okay. Pô, manda um abraço pra ele. Qualquer dia a gente faz uma live com ele aqui, né? Yeah, guys, something like that. So from here, I usually do something like this, and um, and I'll kind of um, try it, like even before it's done. You know, I'll try it out a few things. I'll come it in here. Like I'll start using uh, photos and reference on top, just to try to get like some design ideas. Then I'll go back to ZBrush, you know, because it's it's so easy to just try stuff out in Photoshop. I'll come in here, I'll try out a few things like this, like I'll throw some like concept art or, or reference on top, just be like, oh yeah, this could be cool. Try out a few things and uh, and then go back. That's kind of a natural workflow that I do like very, very often. I'll, I'll put some like other videos uh, maybe next week about some of the some other stuff that I'm working on. That you guys will be able to see like a little bit more of like this more creative process of like trying to come up with designs that uh, there's a lot more just kind of figuring things out in Photoshop, going back to ZBrush, doing a little bit of like painting on top to help out, you know, kind of visualizing what I want. And then I'll go back. Like from here, I think I'm missing like the spec map is not perfect because I didn't do any different uh, specular um, Different specular just kind of uh, passes. Like I would like to have something that's a little tighter on the spec, just to have something to work from or to work with. Because like the skin, you need like a more tighter spec. Like I would need something that would come in here and, and give me that kind of more tight look, and I can get that from a spec map. You know, I could do this for the for the skin as well. So if I would, you know, if I would go back to ZBrush and, and do something like that. I will get something that, that that I could use here. And the same thing that we talked about on the on the last uh, stream as well, where I think for me, ideally here, I would like to have something that gives me some spec, spec breakup. So like on the skin, like everything is very, very soft and uh, it's fine for what it is here. But I would like to have some kind of specular breakup that will help me out. So I think from here you can kind of uh, at least try to bring a little bit of the sharpness. To like these uh, these cracks, because we didn't really sculpt them. So there's no like real shape for the light to go in. And then like some of the metals, again, we didn't have like a proper metals material. Like some of these highlights would look much nicer if they're done like with a metal shader. So that's something we could push as well. Here I'm just indicating what I would like to have, you know, this is not final by any means. But even for some of the sketching work that I, that I do, I would take something like this and just then polish it up. Give it some ideas.
that's that's it guys i mean that's it for this not like you know 100 happy with how it turned out but that's how that's how these things go oh you know the sketching i think to me is the most fun part of the process I, like i would do another one right now if i if i were to like pitch this to somebody uh some some ideas or just kind of do do a bunch of different ones and that's kind of the process like from here you know, of course, I'll go in and start cleaning it up, actually spending the time. You know, the character like this will take a couple months to uh, to execute to that final quality. But this is just uh, the way of like sketching it out. Like even for the hair, you can kind of uh, keep, keep going crazy with it, you know. I'm just going to break it up just a little bit. And then from here... So I'm good guys, you know, thank, thanks for, this was two hours and 20 minutes. Um, it was, it was a lot of fun. I had a, I had a good time and thank you guys for sticking around. If you guys are still here, I mean, this is going to be saved. If you guys want to watch it again, if you missed the beginning, I think the beginning was, was pretty fun. We started from, from a sphere. Um, yeah, we, we'll do this more, like maybe, uh, you know, do more of a creature next time. Cause it's a little easier to get something final, like even showing renders like this. Or if you guys want to see something else, like make sure you leave it on the on the comment, whatever you guys want to see. We'll keep jamming, keep having fun. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe during this uh, time, this weird time in the in the planet. You know, I'm trying to keep this. I'm trying to do this to keep things fun and, and make sure you guys keep inspired and make sure you guys are, are still studying and sculpting and you know keeping up to date with all the technology and, and going after your dreams. Don't let the the, the you know the, the world situation impact you on that stuff you know so hope you guys enjoyed stay safe see you guys next